All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, and the South Asian brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. All right, firstly, Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father, Bahasham, is in the name, Ba in Hada, Sham name. Yahweh Shai's name, only begotten Son, and Machat Kodash means Holy Spirit, literally translated Spirit Holy, Rakat Spirit Kodash Holy. And I'm going to hop right into it. Um, don't not sure what what I'm going to title this yet through the Spirit. You know the Lord, you know the Lord to deal on that. It's His word that's going out. You know, we're just vessels in the Master's house, hopefully for a good use. You know, a precious metal. Um, but. <sighs> We ain't got to get too deep. It's nothing, you know, if we, what we don't know, we just don't know. All right? We we got a purpose. We teach things that accompany salvation to build one another up. All right? Yes, you know, this. Uh, uh, there's a lot of levels and layers to the scriptures, and there is a, a deep, you know, it's definitely deep. The word itself is deep. The milk is deep, man. The milk is, the milk itself is deep. This is First Peter two and one. Wherefore laying aside all malice and all gal and all hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, <laughs> as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. You know that's what the, our, our purpose is to grow in the spirit, man. All right, and then to uh. uh Get his word to other men to grow in the spirit. And it tells you all the sincere milk is what's needed, man. All that extra digging too deep. All oh, the kingdom is this. The, king, the kingdom is going. You know, stuff that don't pertain to salvation. All right. And to make a. Uh, to speak on things we don't know. What we don't know, we don't know, man. We, we, we know what the scriptures say. And what's plain. Uh, anything else. Hey, the Lord. The Lord will reveal it. All right. What's plain, we do know. You know, we do faith, you know, in the, in the Holy Spirit. We have a, a glimpse. Hey, Paul said it best. First uh, Corinthians 13 and 12. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. All right, so we we got a we got a part of the, the you know a part of the picture. When the Lord comes, we'll see it all. We'll see it all pieced together then, man. All right, what we don't want to do is profess to have knowledge that we don't have. All right, going too deep to things that's not revealed right now. All right, man, may Lord mercy upon us. But hey, that could cost somebody their salvation. Whether it's your own or you throw that stumbling block out there. Now the congregation confused and shit, man. That, that, that's, that's madness. To go. <laughs> yeah, that's madness, man. The reason this video is coming up, I just pulled it up, man. I was watching uh, this video. What the f Oh, yeah. That's wrong. Yeah, this one. This video Sikari did. The, the Deacon Destruction Mode channel. And they were going into... It, there's no immortality. There's no immortality uh, in the kingdom, man. It's only immortal is Yahweh. That's why he read the first Timothy 6 and said the only immortal is Yahweh because he doesn't understand what that verse is saying. All right, because the angels are immortal as well, man. That's that's plain. That's a simple cut to it. What about the angels? When it says the only immortal, we think of the Heavenly Father. You know, he's the Ancient of Days. He has no beginning. He goes from everlasting to everlasting. You know, so he's the, he's from everlasting to everlasting. He has no beginning, has no end. Everything else, everybody else was created. That don't change the fact that you have a shy as immortal. All right, and it, it, the scriptures say plainly that the, uh, uh, the elect is getting immortality. All right, that's plain. 
all the intricacies of the kingdom and how everything gonna play out and all that, man. The Lord knows, man. All right. The Lord knows. <laughs> this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 26. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have the psalm, have the doctrine, have the tongue, have the revelation, all right? Just, oh, this is revealed to me, this, that. Like, come on, man. All the stuff, the, 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 what people call planets is just lights and gas. Hey, man, you ain't been up there. You don't know that, man. And besides, the scriptures say what they say. And the father's, uh, the father's house has many mansions, man. So whether those planets are the ones when have the Lord set up some new ones, have the Lord do it, man. Hey, the Lord said, hey, the Lord said what he said. All right, that's the key to faith, man. Just trusting in the word. The Lord going to do what he say he going to do. And the main focus is salvation, man. Preach the repentance. You know, not saying that they don't. Of course, they do. You know, I'm not saying them guys, we got, this is really to, so that's a great millstone. Just stick to the script, man. Things that accompany salvation. You know, we ain't, we ain't get, going too deep, ain't going to save nobody, man. How was it then, brother, when you come, the word is already deep. We already call into the deep, man. How was it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have the psalm, have the doctrine, have the tongue, have the revelation, have the interpretation. Let all things be done to edifying. These things that we teach are to build one another up. All right? Not bring more questions. All right? <laughs> nah. Nah. People more confused they, when they were than before when they watched the video, man. Comment, comment board lit up. What about the angels? So Yahweh shot not immortal. Look, they going too deep, man. When that was a simple, that's a simple breakdown. When it's concerning the Lord, a hey, Yahweh is dwelling from everlasting, everlasting, and Yahweh Shai himself is immortal, man. All right, he's the hey, he as of now he's the only immortal that was born of the flesh. All right, and we're looking to be changed, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15. This mortal shall put on immortality. Stick to what's plainly written. We got the, we got it. Uh, uh, we see through a glass darkly right now, man. All right. We teach, hey, we teach that there's a salvation coming for us, man, through the sacrifice of how was shy made. All right, exhorting one another. You know, when you read through what Paul, you know, the writings of Paul, you know, which are accounts of how this word was brought out during that time, man, he, he as deep as it is, it was so deep. Peter said, man, people ain't, it, it's, it's a stumbling block, basically what he said. It can be a stumbling block, man. All right. They wrestle with their own destruction is how he worded it. And now once did he try to, did he go all far beyond what's plainly written? Not once. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with the excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring that you should attest of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai Mashiach and him crucified. That's what we are here for, man. Yahweh Shai came, he lived, and he sacrificed for us so we can repent and return, get, re get redeemed from the curses. All right? And get the kingdom back, man. Get our nation back. That's our mission. We're out here nation building, man. Now, the scriptures do mention certain things are going to be in the kingdom. Streets of gold. The slavery. All right? Uh, it, it, it mentions, it, it paints a vague picture how elevated Israel is going to be. That's to give us hope to continue to do this work. All right? That's part of the exhortation. But all the extra intricacies and... The time frames of this and that, man, we don't know, man. The Lord knows. What we do know is what's written. Immortality and everlasting life is granted unto us. All right, there'll be no more death for us, Israel. All right, Esau and the heathens going to slavery. All right, we're going to be above all the nations. The nations are going to come and, and seek the law from us after they get their lands back. 
That's deep enough. We're going to see how everything else play out when the Lord comes. That's already great hope. That's already great hope, man. <laughs> man, this is uh, Hebrews 13. And this plenty of deep, you know, deep stuff that the apostles and elder brothers and great millstone may have touched on once or twice. And then not no more because, I mean, it's all about the edification. Now, if the spirit wants to come out, it will. All right? But, hey, we it, they, like it says, man, this is Hebrews 13 and 9. Be not carried away about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good that the heart be established with grace. That's the that's the focus, the mercies that we get, man. Not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. All right? Getting so deep, ain't, that, what profit is it? You not if you're not touching on the grace, if that's not the main focus, what profit is it to it, man? All right, and the cancel of immortality for Israel, man, is taking away the 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 hope that's given, man. That's First Corinthians 15. It says we should get a new body. All right, it says it's sown in corruption; it is uh, it is raised in incorruption. All right, Saint John, uh, uh, it's like in First John the third chapter. You know, it says we're gonna be as the Son of God. In Hebrews, I believe the seventh chapter tells you that what comes to the Son of God is having no beginning or no uh, uh, salakia. I don't want to butcher it. Basically, immortality. It was talking about um, Melchizedek. All right. I ain't gonna grab that. That's beyond. That's besides the point. You know. That's beside the point. The point is, man. We ain't, hey, the milk is good enough. These things that we have before us is already deep. Understanding the reincarnation of Yahweh Shai being King Solomon, that's deep. Understanding reincarnation is deep. That's part of under, beginning to understand the judgment of the Lord. His righteous judgment. You know? And there's so much just... I can't even pinpoint just so many examples because there's too many examples in the scriptures of things that we now have understanding on that's just deep that the rest of the flock don't have understanding on there's new members waking up every day going into Genesis the first chapter understanding that those Elohim you know understanding the Elohim that word itself when it says God 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 that we could potentially have been there man if we're the elect that's deep Understanding, uh, 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 let there be light is the activation of the elements. That's deep. That the serpent wasn't a damn snake walking on, on legs at one point that he got cursed to slither. Because that's what Christianity teaches you. That's deep. And there's people that's fresh learning that we're the Israelites, that's fresh learning uh, 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 that Yahweh Shai's name of our Lord, not Jesus Christ. That can be taught these things, man. That need to hear these things, man. To bring a plain understanding to the scriptures. As opposed to the falsehoods that's been taught to us. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear less by any means. as the, I'm going uh, to start at um, 1. Would to the most high you could bear with me a little of my folly. And indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with the godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as the chaste virgin to Mashiach. So we gotta keep ourselves spotted from all these uh, uh keep ourselves unspotted from all these different doctrines that's tossed out there, man. There's a there's a lot of misinformation, you know. To say all <laughs> look, this is the point. A part in that video. The deacon himself, you know, which this is not a scoff to them at all, you know. They preaching Yahweh Shai, the Lord will be the judge at all. You know, he knows every man's heart. So, um, he says, he mentions flat earthers. 
he didn't and he mentions all the flat earthers out there that's why he don't, may not believe in the planets and then he says what you see as the planets are just balls of gas and light so everything else is a ball and round but the earth is flat it don't add up you know it doesn't add up it doesn't add up um yeah especially you know that's just one point and then they go and say another part well this what they're going into doesn't have anything to do with salvation so what's the point then because all it did was bring more confusion even to their congregation and again this is really for the members of great millstone our job is to teach you how we're shy man all right it's a lot of different doctrines out there let's stick to what's true now it was times when uh false doctrines come up and it's our job to defend the gospel so we bring out the scriptures to show what's true that the other shit is off but going into some deep new revelation some deep new doctrine that ain't part of the mission man edifying is the mission you know building one another up increasing one another's faith comforting one another you know through the spirit of how about you all shy you know reminding one another that it's trials and tribulations to come with this truth endure those trials and tribulations Preach your Howard Shaw while enduring those things, man. Etc. But I fear less by any means as the serpent. Be and even videos like this to remind each other. Listen, it's okay to say I don't know. Because there are things we don't know. We only know what's revealed, man. Yes. We have these scriptures and the spirit has revealed. Hey, like it says, we know all things. But the all that it's talking about is what's revealed, man. This is Deuteronomy. 29 29 the secret things belong to the lord yahweh power but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law so we have what's revealed okay was what what the lord kept secret and hidden hey the parts he want to reveal later he will he even withheld information from yahweh shy how much more from us? <laughs> you know? Sirach 3 and 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to, th to see with thy eyes the things that are in secret. So what's hidden, it, it ain't needful for us to see that, man. What's revealed to us, and we, we think we got to think about it with fear, man. With that godly fear and respect towards the Lord, man. That's really what the word diligent means. It means to be uh, uh, careful, cautious. Well, as the saying goes, <laughs> dot your eye, uh, dot your eyes and cross your T's, man. All right. It ain't even for us to see the extra. What the Lord got hidden is hidden. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand. All right? This information that we have, this true knowledge that we have, man, we the only people with it. Us few. You know? Yeah, a lot of the world know we Israelites now. You got Jake still saying the 12 tribes of Judah. You got Jake still calling on Yahushua. They say Yahuwah with a U, and they say Yahoshua with an O. But it's the same Hebrew character. So when is it a U and when is it an O? That's just confusion. And we have to understand and to, to see and know that neither one of those are right. Even in Jake thinking they deep, the U came before the W. That's why the W is called W. That's only because they did no real research. That's nigga knowledge, man. But through the spirit, we understand that the Y sound was first. Even when you go from Hebrew to Greek, the Y sound was there. It, the symbol, uh, uh, the symbol for the the Y character, the Y sound, the symbol for that went to the Greek. All right, and it, then they added a new character, a new sound. By the time you got to Latin, and then English, man. And that's why they call WW. But that sound existed before that. Those characters switched over. But we understand that. 
The world don't get that. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. All right. So to hell with our personal thoughts and how this sound deep that. Nah, we got to stick to the scriptures. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. You know, with thy eyes thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. So we speak to what we actually know. What does it say if thou have an, don't have an answer? Put thy hand over thy mouth. All right. This is back to 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. So we got to stay those virgins, man. There's too many doctrines out here. Everybody want to be deep. You know, you, you got Jake talking about mermaids, all type of stuff, which if you stick plainly to the scriptures, the simplicity of the scriptures, you would know mermaids not real. All right. But um, that's really it. Hey, we got to keep it simple. Whatever's not revealed, it'll be revealed in its due time. Whatever the Lord wants to reveal, man. With that, hope it's edifying. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakorash. Double honors of the apostles. That was a great millstone. And the South Asian brothers doing this thing in sincerity, in truth, and with charity. Shalom, Baba Ball.